Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on tips to maximize your skincare routine. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before we get into the video, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you, thanks so much. If you're new here, I am Bridget. On this channel, I do skincare, makeup, with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. So if that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. So let's go ahead and quickly talk about a few things that you can do to maximize your skincare routine. Let's say you have a skincare routine and you've been going along using it. It's been a month. It's been three months, it's been six months, and you see no change. In fact, in some situations, it could appear to be getting worse. So I'm gonna talk about a few tips that I want you to think about and consider tweaking in your skincare routine. All right, so the first step I wanna talk about is cleansing your face. So you may think that there's no special thing that you have to do when cleansing your face, but what you can do is consider cleansing and concentrating more where you have your pores. If you get your pores really clean when you go in for your next step with your serums and moisturizers and things like that, it can better penetrate instead of just being clogged. So for example, I have pores right here along my face. Whenever I start cleansing I just kind of start off in that area and work my way out and rinse my face and sometimes I'll go back in again over my pores so that is one thing just to consider think about your routine and how you actually wash your face and just decide if in those areas you're having problems or you're not seeing the results that you would like it could be that you need to change that step all right, so the next step is when you actually apply your products. So you may have heard, uh, for example, your body butters and body creams. You may have heard um, over and over, apply it to a damp body. Well, the same thing applies when you apply it for your face. I have heard of some dermatologists recommending that you apply your serums within one minute um, after you jump out of the tub or shower. But if that's not really practical, what you can do is take a damp cloth and you know place it over your face or you can just um, splash a little bit of water on your face. Now, I'm not talking about have your face dripping wet, but just for it to be damp. And the purpose of that is because you don't want your skin to become dehydrated and I know that sounds a bit extreme but once it dries it's pretty much taking all of the hydration and moisture out of the skin so you really want to begin applying your serums or moisturizers or whatever skincare products on a damp face and you want to make sure that you do the same thing with your body butters and creams in fact i did a video back and i think in 2019 and i talked about trans epidermal water loss and i kind of go into that within that uh body butter video i'll see if i can find it and i'll link it up above but i really go into depth talking about why you want to apply your products on damp skin. All right, so the next tip is to take a really good look at the dates on your products. You don't want to use a product that is out of date. And sometimes because of the products that we use, the date can kind of get lost in translation. So you can just kind of make a mental note of it, or you can take a little black Sharpie and write the date on the bottle. Um, typically it's on the box, but if it says six months, that means it has a six month shelf life and so on. If it says 12 months, a 12 month shelf life. So basically as the product ages, it just kind of renders that particular product ineffective. So again, going back to what I said in the beginning, if you're just noticing that your skincare isn't working, just go back and take a look at the date of your product or maybe you can go find an old receipt from when you bought it and you can that'll kind of help you determine how old that product is. But if it's old, uh, you really want to go ahead and trash it and dump it out. Um, speaking of which, uh, buying older products, when you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or things like that, you really want to pay attention to those dates because I have noticed that a lot of those products are really, um, uh, they're like due to expire soon. And you know, you really don't want to buy a product if it's going to expire 
expire in a month or two months and I would even say three months it's just not giving you enough time to use it and see if it works another tip is to actually look at where you have your products stored ideally you want to have your all of your skincare products stored in a dark place you don't want it exposed to sunlight or extreme temperatures some people actually uh, put their products in the refrigerator I don't do that I just store my all of my skincare uh, in a dark cool place it's not exposed to sunlight because uh, sunlight again is something that can render your products unstable the next one that I want to talk about is fragrance and I always talk about fragrance in all of my videos but if you are serious about skincare you really want to consider not using a skincare product with fragrance in it and the reason that fragrances are so bad there are so many other ingredients in a fragrance that are not required to be listed in uh, the list of ingredients. I know that that's kind of a handful. Uh, so in short, there could be a lot of trash <laughs> in your fragrance. And typically, uh, fragrances can cause inflammation and irritation. If your uh, skin is irritated, you already know that can lead to other issues. If it's inflamed, that can lead to another uh, other issues. So, you know, pull your products out, look to see if it has fragrance in it. And I do have some skincare products in my collection that have fragrances. If they are going to have it, I really do try to, you know, look to see where it's listed. If it's listed uh, near the bottom or at the bottom, I don't really get too worried, but I will do a patch test before I put it all over my face, like right here. And what a patch test is, it's just something that you do to see if you're going to have a negative reaction uh, towards a product. So that's just something that you want to do before you try any type of new skincare products. Do a... Uh, uh, patch test especially if it has fragrance but like I said in the beginning if you're serious about your skincare routine just go ahead and dump or not necessarily dump, but uh, because skincare products are expensive, just try to avoid those or see if you can replace them with other products that don't have fragrance. Another tip is to use products that have the appropriate packaging. Um, there are some uh, skincare products such as serums or moisturizers or things like that that have a pump or it has some type of uh, device where you don't actually open it up and expose the product. Anytime you open, have to open up a jar or for your serum or your moisturizer, um, it exposes it. It also lets in a lot of bacteria. And I've kind of touched on that in the past uh, because especially with uh, higher end products, because you would think that if you're going to pay more for a product, it would have the appropriate packaging, but definitely look at that. You want to um, pick out products where you're not actually opening the products and having to touch them and expose them to bacteria and things like that. So that's uh, something that you would really want to look at. All right, so the last tip is uh, look at your lifestyle. You can have the best skincare routine. You can follow it to the letter, but if you have a poor lifestyle, um, it's just not gonna work. If Let's say if you drink or if you smoke or if you're not getting a lot of rest or if you're stressed um, or if you eat the wrong foods, et cetera, et cetera, um, that is going to have an impact on how your skin looks. So definitely look at all of that that I mentioned because it just might be a few things that you could tweak uh, to see a difference in your skincare routine. The last thing that I wanna mention is if you follow everything to the letter, all of the right ingredients, the diet, et cetera, et cetera, and you're still having issues, please go see a dermatologist because sometimes you may need a prescribed medication to help you along. So anyway, that's it on all of the tips to tweak your skincare routine. Let me know, have you tried everything that I mentioned? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.